Well, that would be a first. I got my gear ready, let Gage out of the house, pulled the truck ahead, put the tailgate down for him, and he looked at it like, I'm not jumping in there. He just, he won't do it. So, I'll try. <laughs> What's wrong with you? We'll try this. Hey, good job, buddy. You not feeling up to the task today? It's actually raining. Well, I knew it was gray out and I knew it was mild out, but I didn't know it was raining when I planned this this morning. So Gage and I are just gonna go a couple miles down here to the bike path, which is a walking trail in winter. And we're going to go for a little hike because the old ladies who walk that trail every day like to put out lots of bird seed. There should be lots of squirrels, variety of species of birds, you know, maybe a fox or a pine martin, who knows. Uh, let's just go for a walk in the rain, I guess. There's the trail. We're going to start by going this way down to the river. It's quite a bit of ash swamp on either side here. And we'll just see what we can find going this way first. Uh, it is kind of wet, but the Sony cameras are weatherproof, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. As long as we don't point our lens up into the sky and get water on the lens, it's all good. Today we're lugging around the much newer and slightly smaller Tamron 150 to 500. So that weighs in at about three and a half pounds and should get us in close to any birds we find. Only in North Bay, I swear. They turn the hiking slash biking trail into the Skidoo Trail in winter. I still think that is the dumbest thing. So now you've got people out here walking, old people, lots of old people walk this trail, you know, can hardly get out of the way. And then you've got machines running up and down here with all the teenagers. They're not paying attention to speed limits or people. They don't care. But it's been this way for, I don't know, 20 years. So <laughs> they're not going to change it now. There is a raven off in the distance cawing. But I haven't seen any seed piles and I haven't seen any birds of any kind. I'm so desperate to get out and have some winter adventures, guys. I actually posted on the local photography club, which I'm a part of, and I just said, okay, let's do this. Like, I don't care what we're going to shoot, whether it's, you know, fungus, fence posts, birds, the fox, whatever. Like, who wants to go for some nature hikes and photography? And we'll see if anybody gets back to me. I'm hoping for next week. I've put out the call. Let's see if anybody answers. Ah, there he goes. Hey, did you guys notice that deaf tracking move right there? <laughs> no sooner did I say, let's see if anybody answers the call on this Facebook request, and I got a ding on the phone saying somebody wants to send you a private message, so I'll have to look at that after and see. Now, I'm kind of a dummy. I posted this today, Thursday, saying, hey, let's go out and do some photography and then I realized I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm not back until Sunday afternoon so <laughs> people are going to be getting back to me going when do you want to go this weekend no I can't <laughs> uh, hopefully for next week <laughs> I see a skidoo trail going off of here that I've never gone down before it can't go that far because I know the lay of the land here between the river and you know where houses and the road and stuff but um Let's just take a little walk down this, get off this main trail, and see if there's anything down this side trail. Yeah, you're going the wrong way. So the trail is very soft, like I'm actually sinking down every step I take. It's, like I say, it's raining today. So here we are in January. I can't use the snow machine anymore. There isn't enough snow on the trails. This is a crazy winter. There's some deer tracks actually right there. Oh, I see some fungus. You know, you never know what you might get a picture of. I'm not going to see much in the way of wildlife with Gage, but birds possibly, yes.
that's kind of what you have to give up owning a dog is you kind of have to make separate trips. You're not going to get wildlife photography in with the dog, right? He needs a walk and then you go separate. So when I go out with him like this, it doesn't surprise me that we don't find a lot of stuff. We might find something up in a tree, a pine marten, a porcupine, something like that. Um, but the deer and stuff will take off as soon as they see him. Somebody's been out cutting up firewood along the trail, but then they left it. They only took a few blocks. Maybe going out to the ice hut, I don't know. If I had an ice hut out this year, you wouldn't catch me going out to it right now. It's very sketchy out on the lake. It's super dangerous. There are so many places guys are going through every week. Dangerous. Well, I think this is the end of the trail. It just goes up there, loops, and comes right back here. We'll walk it anyway, just to make sure. So not really a long trail in there, a few hundred meters. Must be another trail somewhere. I hear somebody cutting. Oh, one lonely chickadee over there. Oh, I couldn't agree with that more. Leave tracks, not trash. Protect our environment, stay on the trail. So these trails right now actually are all officially shut down. There are no groomers running because we don't have any snow and everyone is warned to stay off the trails because you will wreck the base that we do have packed here now. So we shouldn't see any machines on here, but you never know. You see how soft it is once you get off the trail. I saw something I might want to photograph over here. Oh, look at that. Maybe. What do you want? Oh, what did I find? Imagine that, a stick in the woods. Well, here's the second trail. I knew there had to be another one. I hear a guy cutting with his chainsaw in there. So we won't go in there. I don't need to get a tree dropped on Mr. Gage's head. Why? Why do these kids have to be so stupid? You know? What is, what is the point of that? There is no point other than being an idiot. I have officially hit old man status. <laughs> What was Dennis the Menace's neighbor? Mr. Oh, why can't I think of his name? Well, that's that's me. <laughs> All right, we've made it to the river. And down here is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at that. It is slushy and I'm pretty sure there will be open spots due to the current too. Yeah, you wouldn't want to drive your sled across that right now. I know I've said it in the last couple of videos, I'll say it again. We have never had a winter like this in 45 years. It is absolutely crazy and it is going to cause havoc with a lot of the nature. It's actually too warm out here right now for this jacket. Just walking this trail, I'm starting to sweat. Oh, more deer tracks. Well, lots of high bush cranberry down here in the swamp too. And I see fresh partridge tracks underneath me, so they probably were eating these berries. Coming up on the marsh now. Look at that, the old fence post is still standing right there. 
10 years I've been photographing that, waiting for it to fall over, and it's still standing. Gage. All right, 2024, I'll have to get another photograph. I'm pretty sure it's not going to survive another year, but I say that every year. I really can't believe that thing is still standing. All right, coming up to the feeding zone. I do hear lots of birds. I see lots of birds. I think I even see some fruit over there behind that tree. Is it just chickadees down here today? I don't know. Oh, it's carrots. Somebody threw out some noodles. <laughs> we do get lots of rabbits in here too. If Gage finds those noodles, they'll be gone. And he found them. Get out of there. Chickadees and red squirrels. That's all I'm seeing so far. About four red squirrels. There's a couple up there behind me. A couple over here behind the rock pile. And lots of chickadees. And Gage has now got a full belly of noodles. Oh, Gage just got some playtime in with a Burmese mountain dog. Half poodle, half Burmese. Doug. So, Gage made a new friend. And now he's off heading back for the swamp. He's like, well, we're done playing. 